everyone so I'm really excited to finally be sitting down and filming a video this has been a long time coming um, for various reasons I just haven't filmed a video and so now I'm really happy to be able to do this um, I finally got a tripod and a proper camera and everything um, so I really have no excuse but to just do this thing then I thought something kind of to get started I would do some random favorites um, over the years I've always watched people doing their beauty favorites and style and everything which I enjoy but I actually really love the random stuff because sometimes I really discover cool products that I would never have known about before so um, because this is my first favorite video in forever um, I have a lot I have a lot of different stuff and we'll just see how it goes these are things that I've just been really enjoying in my life at the moment um, so hopefully you can enjoy them too so I'm just gonna start totally randomly um, and see how see how it goes so I think the first the first thing is actually what I'm wearing which is a vest from Uniqlo um, this is I can stand up so you can see what it looks like it's just the I don't know quite a standard vest that I think a lot of people have um, this is in the navy blue which I tend to go for over black just because it's something different and it's, but it's still kind of neutral and goes with everything it's the freaking best vest ever <laughs> or ja waistcoat jacket whatever you want to call it um, my mom has been telling me to get these for get one of these forever and you know I I, was, I didn't and then finally my husband was like oh, I, really, I really want one of these vests from Uniqlo so I ordered one for each of us so we both have the same um, and they and if you don't know they go into a little a little bag if you're not using them um, I can show you the bag one second for your travel whatever you need they fit into a little bag like this which is really small is this, I mean, yeah maybe that's how big it is um, and so what I've got is the ultra light ultra light down uh, vest. Um, it's as it's, it's super light. It doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything. I'm wearing it inside when it gets a little colder. I wear it outside underneath my coat. So nice. Looks nice. I think goes with everything. Um, you know, super just convenient, and I think something that hopefully I will have for a very long time. My second favorite is, and you'll get to know this about me, but I'm obsessed with tea. Uh, usually just standard black tea with milk in it, or English breakfast whatever you want to call it, um, but I have a little tea shop close to me that recommended a type of Earl Grey tea and then I saw, <laughs> my husband saw where they order it from because I was going back there and I was buying the loose leaf tea from them and we discovered um, this company called Adagio, Adagio Teas and you can order the tea in a, in big bags. So the tea that my my favorite, but I have a few, um, is called is an Earl Grey blend. And it's called Earl Grey Moonlight. So good. There's something in it. It says it's um, got sweet creamy notes, softened by bergamot, citrus, and paid with salon tea. But, but what's really cool about it, and I have some in my little mason jar, is that it has little flowers in it. So this might be the bergamot. I don't think so actually. I think this is what makes it the Earl Grey Moonlight. Oh, my dog just jumped on my lap. Um, I don't know if you can really see. Let me see. I can look inside there. Little focus for me. Come on, camera. There you go. Um, so you can see it's got little uh, purple pretty flowers in it. So it looks really cute. And then it's got uh, cream blendy things in it. It's so nice. So if you can get hold, you can order a Dagio Teas online I order it online obviously the bigger you order the bulk the more bulk you order the cheaper it is going to be per cup of tea so it just depends on your tea drinking habits um, also they have a you know free shipping if you spend a certain amount of money so then you end up buying lots of different teas but I have an English breakfast and I think a Scottish breakfast that I've tried and I've tried different like chai versions little samples they make nice presents I think um, and yeah I'm really into loose leaf tea which is I think better for you in the environment, if it's cultivated properly, if it's organic tea, it's not sprayed, um, and if it's not in tea bags, then you know you're saving on the packaging of that. You you don't have to worry about it being bleached or unbleached. So that's something that's a concern for you. And obviously with loose leaf, you can determine also how much you have at a time. So that's really cool. 
Um, and considering I have my little friend on my lap, this is Mila. Look, she's also wearing a Uniqlo. No, she's not, but kind of looks like it. Anyway. Uh, you can be a favorite too. You're an ongoing favorite though. Hey. All right. Um, I recently had a baby. If you watch my previous video, you will see videos you will see that I had a baby he's now eight months old um, and I've also gone back to work part-time so I'm at home half of the week and even though I would not consider myself to be an exercise person I just felt like I needed to do something body wise in terms of just I felt like a blob so um, I've been doing little Pilates workouts I've been using the blog Pilates app so obviously if you watch YouTube videos and you know Cassie from blog Pilates those workouts are actually really, really hard and I'm only doing the beginner versions, but they're awesome. So the app I, I purchased for less than a dollar, so 99 cents I think, and um, you just follow the app. So that's definitely a favorite as well. But one thing that I needed, and I can do a whole fitness thing, maybe I might do a fitness thing as I do get more into it, but um, one thing that I really needed was a yoga mat because I was doing these, I was doing Pilates on my carpet and it was very uncomfortable because I have wooden floors and then I had this carpet that had all these little knobbly bits in it. Anyway, so I got, the, I had, I wanted to research yoga mats because before I bought one, I wanted to see which one, you know, which is the nicest or what I need. And I found this one from Think, Think Sport. Um, and what I like about this is that it doesn't, it's supposed to be, if you can get such a thing, but it's supposed to be a healthy yoga mat and that it doesn't have all the chemicals that they make, uh, that they use to make the yoga mat. So it's you're not breathing in especially when you do when you're doing a lot of stuff on your mat you you know your mat and your nose are, are one they're like right there so um with the yoga mat it's with this particular yoga mat it doesn't really smell like anything it smells a little bit in the beginning but that i feel like that smell dissipated very quickly um whereas if you go to the gym and you're just using commercial commercially produced yoga mats um you know they they re they can really like smell bad like chemicals for a long time so this is supposed to be of equal quality to a normal mat um, but a healthier one <laughs> um, I really like the purple color but when I ordered I ordered this from Amazon and they didn't have the purple but I thought the blue was the blue was pretty fun um, the only thing which looking back now when I see people walking around with their yoga mats and I guess I don't walk around with my yoga mat because I'm doing it at home um, you, you, it is nice to get a little strap so you get the little, the little strap that goes over the mat and then a handle and you can carry it. But you can also just put your yoga mat in a tote bag or a sort of a canvas grocery bag um, and use it that way and that's totally fine too. I've seen people do that as well, kind of recently. Um, got this book, which is by Erin Boyle and it's called Simple Matters. Um, I've been following her blog, which is called Reading My Tea Leaves and I'll link it below if anyone's interested in looking at it. So beautiful, I love it so much. It's like very clean and minimalist and she lives in Brooklyn and in Brooklyn, New York and so do I. So, you know, we're in similar kind of geographical, well, similar geographical location, even though we live in completely different areas um, within New York City, but her book is beautiful. Um, and I was expecting, you know, with when I've bought books or read more from bloggers, usually I find that Usually, usually I find that the book is just a replica of the blog posts and when I really get into blogs I read basically every <laughs> blog post and often multiple times especially if it's a blog post if it's a blogger or a website where I'm taking inspiration from I guess so um, with Erin like, she has lots of tips and she's she's very simple minimalist um, natural you know um, and I kind of aspire to some aspects of that lifestyle as well for my home and for my family and everything. But her, but with her book, it wasn't real. I didn't really find it. There was some obviously there's some similarities because she's the same person and she's writing about her life in her blog and she's writing about her life in her book. But a lot of the things are, um, they I didn't feel like they it was duplicates. It was new information or it was just presented in a different way. Um, and I I really love this book. I got this as a gift. So thank you very much to my dear friend that got this for me um, for my birthday and I love it. I've read it. I've read it through once and I've gone back to refer to it. It's one of the areas that I really like in it. And I guess you could Google this, but it's nice when it's in a book is DIY cleaning products, um, which is basically, which is so simple. So there's just a whole like a whole list of different things, 
she has got di dish soap glass cleaner wooden floor cleaner greasy pot rescue sink cleaner and one, of the, one of the cool ones which i didn't really know about was sticky residue remover so instead of buying something like goo gone or glue gone goo gone i think is what it's called which i'm sure has got lots of nasty chemicals in it this is just literally baking soda or bicarb and coconut oil i guess you could use another type of oil um and then a warm cloth and that helps to remove labels and it actually works <laughs> so um so yeah so i'm sure she's tried and tested all these things but i really recommend this book and for anyone who's trying to sort of pare down their lifestyle or declutter or relax design books or coffee table books um this is a really nice book and a really nice present thanks erin oh and i went to her book launch in brooklyn and that was like that was really cool for me because i don't really do things like that so it was really fun and I was really, I was really grateful to my husband who babysat for me because I think that was one of the first times I'd been out of the house in like six months. <laughs> I mean, I have so many things I can talk about, but then this video is going to be so ridiculously long. Um, another thing, which is not a new discovery for everybody, and it sort of is and isn't for me, but it's is, but aud is audible. Okay, so what I've realised is with a baby and just being at home and kind of wanting to multitask even though I don't know if that's really possible um, audible is like the best thing ever because I listen to a lot of podcasts and I can do a whole thing on podcasts too and which ones I listen to and why and all that stuff but um, I love I love podcasts and I guess now books on tape and with audible I just I, I knew about it and people have been telling me about it and I just never signed up because I was listening to podcasts and I wasn't at home enough uh, when I was working to really listen to books um, and then I think the book that I wanted maybe they didn't have because it was a newer book or whatever the reason anyway recently disco rediscovered audible and I was listening to oh oh stop stop um, I, I the book I was listening to and which made me love audible basically is the spark joy book by Mari Kondi so this is what this is what it looks like if you get audible how does this work I don't even know okay there is that working I hope that's in focus um, but if you download the Audible app onto your phone and then you get the, you you can only buy the books on a from a computer, which is frustrating. But I think it's like a licensing thing, um, and you can go back and read and just and you can do multiple things. Like it's great to do when you're cleaning because you kind of get you listen to the story and you're not focused on the fact that you're having to scrub the bathroom or the toilet or something. So, Audible, get on that train. I mean, I don't know why it took so long. I, I feel I'm recognizing how stubborn I am with these things. Because this is the second thing that I'm like, oh, yeah, I should have done this ages ago and I never did. Um, just in this video. <laughs> so can you imagine in the rest of my life? Anyway, but um, yeah. So highly recommend this book, the Spark Joy book. It's kind of the same, I feel like, as the as the magic of tidying up. Um, the, Mar the original Marie Kondo book that she has. I feel like it's very similar, like I know the information already. But I don't have that one on Audible and I actually don't have that copy anymore with me. So this is just as good and it gives you a lot of practical things but i think at the life-changing magic of tidying up the Marie kondo book um if you're into kind of paring down your lifestyle it's an interesting take on that and it's i know it's become really popular on the internet and just in people's lives um this is like the next step so it's more practical things like how do you sort out your clothes and your paper and your uh furniture and obviously things have to bring joy to you so um i can also talk more about that in another video but yeah so just have to say one thing before i go on and it's snowing outside and i love snow so that is a favorite as well and i'm so <laughs> i'm so happy that it's snowing i feel like it's amazing it's a holiday today i'm not at work it's great so i thought it would be a good day to do a video this is so much fun so thanks for letting me do this um all right, so my semi-last favorite practical things. Uh, I joined the subscription service, and I think I heard about this through Mama Natural, who I watch on YouTube, and I'll link her channel down below if anyone's, yeah, I'm sure lots of people know about her as well. Um, but she was sponsored, I believe, or she spoke about this company called Mighty Nest, which is a, which is a subscription service for kind of healthy healthier alternatives to lifestyle but it's not it's not food so it's equipment and tools and gadgets and things um, and I think I also think they donate a certain percentage of whatever you buy to a school of your choice so two of the most recent things that I got which are awesome these little bags so basically they send you samples of, of 
of co what companies are doing in the sort of healthier alternative world. So these little bags are alternatives to Ziploc bags. Um, they have your, they, you put your name on it and they're called lunch skins. The name I'm a bit like, mm, okay, I'll get used to it. But, but I think, but I know what they're going for. And they're awesome. They're like lined Ziploc reusable bags, which is right up my alley. You can wash them in the dishwasher. You put them on the top rack of the dishwasher or I wash mine in the washing machine. Or you could hand wash them, I'm sure. Um, and we'll see how long they last. Well, I've washed multiple times. I have this I have this bigger size and then I also got a little guy. And I'm thinking I might buy some of these for, kit, for presents for people. Um, I might buy some more for myself because I only have two and ultimately I would like to eradicate having Ziplocs. I'm trying to cut down all the pla I'm trying to cut down plastic in my home, but I, I don't want to get rid of everything until until I've kind of used it up or I have repla adequate replacements. Although Mari Kondo probably wouldn't say that. She'd probably say, does that plastic spark joy? Does it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and the most recent thing that I got from Mighty Nest, because I get it once a month, um, are these little uh, produce produce bags. But they're, they're not only produce bags. So they're reusable little mesh bags. And they can be used for your laundry. So you could use them to put in delicates or anything that you want in your washing. But you, I think they were originally designed as putting your apples and your pears in at the grocery store, at the supermarket, um, so that you don't have to use those plastic bags. Because then what do you do? You just you just throw them away? I, I don't know. You just throw them away when you're done. Um, and then the nice thing about Mighty Nest is that it comes with a little card with either a recipe on it or some kind of use for the item. So with these little produce bags, they say store them in your bag or car so they're ready for you when you go to the farmer's market. So if you're a farmer's market near you, you'll know that they do have plastic bags, but you, I mean, their whole philosophy, I think, would be to re reuse things and take your tote bags and everything, but you might not have like a million things for the little chilies that you want to buy or two onions you want to buy, but these are reusable and they can, you can wash them as well when you're done, so um, you can just use them uh, indefinitely. Um, they also say wrangle small items like sunglasses, lip balm, or spare change of clothes when you go to the beach or the pool. Fill them with larger bulk items. And I didn't think to do this. I don't think I would have thought to do this without the card, but I actually put, I put rice or oats or something in one of the bags from the grocery store because they weigh nothing. You just can weigh them instead of taking your glass jar, you know, so that was really nice. And then organize socks, underwear, toiletries, and other odds and, en other odds and ends when traveling. So that's a good idea. And then protect your delicates in the wash. So they've actually created five uses for these bags, which I thought was really nice. And again, I think they're kind of nice gifts. Maybe you just buy a laundry bag for someone, but these are very, um, these are nicely made and they're like very thin mesh, whereas the laundry bag, I think, has a little wider grid holes things. Um, yeah, so it's a, and you machine wash them and then you hang them to dry. You, you don't put them in the dryer. But I thought those were really cool. And then my final, last favorite is um, my baby clapped today. And I don't think it was the first time, but it was the first time that I saw it. So I was really happy. So I will insert a little clip of him clapping. He's eight months old, so maybe this is the time that they start clapping. And maybe they clap a lot earlier than this. I, I don't know, but it was really sweet for me. and. Um, really, it made my day. Um, but thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, please thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, Baby Soup Brunch. I'm really trying to expand this channel and work on uh, different projects with it. Um, this is something that I've really wanted to do for a long time. So I hope that I can keep it up with the baby. It's a little bit challenging, but I'm going to make it work. Um, and I'm so grateful to my husband who's helped me kind of set this up and pushed me to do this a little bit. So I hope to see you guys really soon for, with a new video. Um, and leave in the comments if you have any suggestions of other things that you would like me to do.